Hello everybody, this is Finn and Wind. Here I am again with Europa Universalist 4, playing as Hamburg, going for the Booty Coup achievement. Last where I left off, I went to war with Lubeck to kind of bring in his little uh, trade league in Brandenburg. Kind of left Brandenburg in a bad situation, but I do notice here that uh, Poland did go to war with Brandenburg, brought the Emperor, and uh, it seems like the Emperor brought in uh, Bohemia and friends into this battle. So I'm thinking right now, uh, Warzal is being sieged, and there's a good chance that I can start a war with uh, Lithuania by himself if Poland eventually gets to the point to where he's not feeling like helping his friend anymore. So I'm thinking I'm gonna hang on to keeping Livonia in order and siege because if anything, I don't think he has an army running around anywhere. I'm pretty sure I stack wipe his initial army early on. So I'm going to have one army kind of go over here, beat up on Sweden a little bit. I'm going to have this army on standby, ready to go war with Lithuania. And in the middle of all of that, I did tech up and got myself a new idea group, which is going to be exploration. And so I went through the ledger to find out possible colonies I can colonize. Uh, it just seems like I won't be able to do anything in North America unless I do Barbados. So that would be this one right here. Here? Where is Barbados? So basically it's all going to be uh, these islands right here that I can reach right now. So I think of anything, I want to do Trinidad. So I'm going to get that rolling right now. Do I have a mission for that? It wants me to go for Barbados. Shoot. Alright, so uh, let's take that mission to colonize Barbados, even though there's going to be a one development difference there. And, um, yeah. So, at this point, that's pretty much where I'm at. I do want to just colonize up here and dominate up here so I can push trade into my node. But that's just going to have to wait just a little bit. So, let's get this going. Well, let's take care of that Barbados. So I can get that mission completed and get that extra settler chance. And I need to keep France in this war as long as possible. Just by the off chance that this looks like it's actually about to fall down pretty soon. I did lose a leader. Was that one of my navies? Yes. Um, let's do this. Since I have... Ooh, well, this might not be the best idea. Which one is the Explorer? I don't need that. I could use this. This would help. But I don't think they have the Explorer one available. But if anything... That's okay. I will... Oh, that's because I don't have the idea yet. Duh. <laughs> Alright, so I might hold off on getting myself another Admiral. It's not really necessary. Sure, it might help me increase my chances of getting more ships. But it's not too big of a concern. Okay, so his capital is taken. Like, once he starts taking loans and that war exhaustion starts building up, Will be a good chance that I can go to war with him. With just him alone. Got all these people asking for peace and access and. Nah. I, I mean, I'm making a pretty good income. I could go over force limit even more with a 2.77% additive. I mean, if anything, I feel like I should build more cannons. So let's get ourselves four more cannons so that I can kind of effectively combat uh, Sweden's army. Even though Sweden probably has a better army composition. Um, I mean, not composition, but just better people in general. Let's see if I can find his uh, stuff real quick. Because I mean, he is rocking the 115 discipline, which is better than mine. He has more professionalism than I do. And then he, on top of that, he does have his ideas. 
with that combat and discipline and all that good stuff. But, I mean, he might have that to Russia. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lithuania has no friends. So, yeah, this will actually be a really good time for me to eat some of this right here and get some of those cow provinces under my belt. I'm going to finish up this uh, siege with Livonia Order. Come on. Oh, come on. Do I need to get myself another general? Yeah, looks like one of them died. And that's a pretty good one. I'll take that. Five maneuver. i probably go over this without any penalties. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, uh... He might swing around and actually... Like, he just pulled off completely. Well, I'll just go for Kalmar and just, uh... Start beating up on Sweden here. I mean, let's see how bad this is. I definitely have more morale. Tactics are the same. He has more discipline. Alright, so... Let's move on up over here. And yeah. I'm going to start beating this guy up. I'm going to go for... That province first. France is called Crusade of the Ottomans. Nice. So, seeing the differences here, it looks like he took out more of my troops. Barely. But, hey, I got, I got money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to consolidate these guys. I should bring my force limit back down. And uh, if I'm really needing... How many guys does he have? I mean, that's pretty much most of his army right there. Any other army he would have would be... It's like split in half, basically. So he has another army just as strong as this one elsewhere. Alright, so I captured a ship. Let's um, get these docked up and start repairing them. Yeah, there's that other army right there. Lithuania, I believe, is rolling with a pretty strong army. So I do need to be careful. Like, even though I do have a tech advantage over him, he still has a lot of troops. I'm only using half my army over here. So let's uh, pull this out. Let's get these guys over here. And let's blockade that. Hmm. I might have to hold off on that. And I'll just bring this down here. And you know what? Let's... Um, Let's bring the rest of this down here to repair instead. Alright, so... I could start bringing my cannons over there, but I do need to be careful... ...in that... ...because I did let another year go by without taking any land, so shame on me for that. But I gotta be careful because I don't want him stack wiping any of my uh, cannons. That would be a shame. But let's sneak it on over. Because this army seems like it wants to go that way. More than likely, he's going to try to unseize his ally. If I had to guess. Lithuania is fighting, Russia's fighting France. Man, opportunities are opening up like crazy here. Um, let's go straight for his capital. 
so that if, if he somehow does pick up allies, I can have that 25% or 20% war score advantage, and he won't be able to bring allies into the mix. And Lithuania is bringing a portion of his army over here. Um, at this point, I have a lot of money, so I will take that money hit right there. Alright, so he's up in here in Danzig. I do have my defensive edict on still. So I'm honestly not going to worry about that too much. I'll probably just ship my guys over to um, help out with that. I do have a lot of military points, so let's just expedite that uh, siege on his capital. I believe Bavaria and them are helping each other out. France. There's a good chance that France might want to pull out against um, with that war I have with Lubeck and Riga. I'm pretty sure he's not going to help out Sweden. Alright, so I got his capital. Ooh, man, oh man. It's a lot of possibilities right here. Like, what is he willing to give me right now? I do want to take that fort. 26 aggressive expansion. Ottomans are up in this too, so this is going to be kind of crazy. There's going to be a lot of um, land grabbing going on. I do not like that. I don't have the war goal. That is um, one thing I'm regretting right now. So at this point, what I'm going to do is... I got two of his forts. I'm going to go relieve this with... Um, this army. He won't be flanking me, I'll be flanking him, so I'll be good in that aspect. Alright, so now we're in December. I really should focus on keeping my eye on piecing out Lubeck and Bremen. So let's get it around Christmas time and let's see what we can take from this. So yeah, there's 22. So I could just grab those two. I could do a separate piece on Bremen, which is going to be 51 aggressive expansion. I think that's going to be the hardest hitting thing on me right now is just taking Bremen. I really want to take Bremen. But I might honestly have to do that another day. I mean, I could vassalize him for 49 across expansion, so that's not any better. Um. Yeah, this is actually rough. I mean, I can make him transfer trade power. Make him break his alliance with Lubeck, because he's not going to exist anymore. Take the rest of his money. Yeah, let's, let's break his alliance with... Um, with Bavaria. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to come back at Bremen another day. That will at least create a long peace treaty. And then I could just eat up these two. Oh, I want that money. For 46 AE. 
Yeah, in the new patches, man, you would not get this much money. And the only person that would be uh, too upset about it would be Sweden. But that's going to drop down below in like two years. So... Booyah. And this is going to be before the annual tick. I got myself another fort. Two other forts. I working up the tradition. I got fully maintained forts bonus. I'm at 488 development. I want to bump this down, but I might be better off doing this. I'm gonna be defending the face so that I can work that down like that. Um. I don't really have that much admin points at the moment, so let's do that. So now that leaves me in a position where, where are you going? Starting off with a really strong fire phase. And there goes his army. So yeah, Lithuania is going to be in some trouble here. Honestly, I might... If this looks really bad for Lithuania... Could I... That would be awesome if I could vassalize him. What is this? This game is really adamant about taking my money away. You know what? I'm cool with that. Just keep my uh, manpower high. What are you piecing me? Just for one piece of land that I don't have uh, control over? I'm gonna hold off onto that. Now, Lithuania, do you have any more forts? Nah, I just need to start worrying about this up here. Now, what I can do with Livonia Order, I can take that one land for myself. I want to take more, but... I'm going to revoke his core there. Um, I'll let him stay allied to Sweden. For the chance that if Russia goes to war with him, that's going to cause Sweden to be in trouble. And let's just take his money. Alright, so I'm good with this decision right here. So I got to work down the AE before I start getting everybody upset. Yeah, it did cause his troops to black flag, so he's gonna have to bring that back home. What was Russia's war goal? Just a uh, religious. All right, get that navy together. Let's get this navy together. Yeah, I am feeling a little like... I probably should lower this. But I did... I do have to also consider the idea that taking Defender of the Faith, even though that will help me military-wise, and all this good stuff, it might shoot me back in the foot when it comes to, actually, if a Protestant nation does come under fire. Luckily most of them are big guys, so... Plantation? 
I should core Mitua, but you know what? Even though I do want to get my idea rolling here, I will knock this down just once. And let's get mid to a chord. So stop right here. Let's beat down his army even more, because we can. And let's take out Sweden's capital quickly. Still has a big army out there, so I should still keep this army strong and together. Because I don't know where they'll come out of. Maybe there's a good chance that a uh, Teutonic Order might be released. Oh yeah, I guess while all this is happening, let's um, let's prove relations to Pequot because I believe he should be annexable pretty soon. Yeah, next month actually, so I'm gonna get that worked up. I'm gonna annex him. And, um, there's Stockholm. Burgers are asking for more land, so let's take care of that real quick. And let's just give them something cheap up here. I could probably revoke something down here. Yeah, let's pull this one off, and let's add this one, so that I can probably get myself a little bit more income there. Now what I can do as well is, should I even care about fighting his fleets? I'm thinking it's no biggie. Pull this back down here. Yeah, I'm just going to take down his forts. I'm just going to put Sweden in a really bad place. There, we're going to engage him. Oh, I guess not. He has that maneuver. Hmm. Maybe scorch land? I don't know. But yes. What I'm going to do now... How much low army is he? He only has two cavalry. So at this point, I feel pretty confident to start... Um, splitting up my troops. And I'm going to start carpet sieging whatever land he has... at the moment. Yeah, there's a lot going on over here now. It's um, the. It's been a while since I've carpet siege anybody, so forgive me. It's a little risky, but he doesn't really have much of an army to fight with. <laughs> and it looks like the English have a tutor on their throne, so that's interesting. Yeah, France, I will give you access so you guys can duke it out. Look like he is bringing his army back together. Ooh, I do want my, I do want a diplomat here. And speaking of that, just to double check to make sure I got improved relations in all the these areas. 
Okay. So I can maximize that AE. If I had to imagine, I might have to pull these guys off. Ottomans might take a little bit. There might be some nations release. Let's, even though he's not like the best leader because of that, I'm still going to keep him around for the monarch production. We do have Danish separatists, so I do wonder if he is going to take care of that. Get him, Russia. Should have not. Dang it, that wasn't smart. Alright, let's bring these guys back over here. I'm gonna wait until that army gets up. I'm guessing Sweden is bringing his army over here to um, unsiege this. And then while that's happening, I'm going to... Yeah, Lithuania has no more army, so I don't have to worry about him. Words. I don't have to worry about him attacking any of my armies randomly. I'm going to go do some marine operations here and start beating up this army. I probably will get the penalty, I think, but... He got the penalty. Nice. Alright. What am I looking at as far as my limits? That's actually looking pretty good. I'm going to reinforce with one Merc and consolidate those so I can conserve manpower. Bonus that gives me a bigger garrison size? I'm a little confused. He needs 12 to siege it, but he's taking attrition. Come on, Russia. You got what you want. I mean, I guess you're fighting France. You yeah, know, this could be kind of bad now to think about it. France could get involved in another war, which might cause. I'm going to start murking up infantry. Oh yeah, I could go for the war goal, couldn't I? Come on, Russia, just peace him out. But I think, yeah, there's, there's this going on over here. Ottomans and Russia together, though. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty nasty combo. And, you know what, let's, um... These two have high influence. They only need 10%. I think it would be nice to get an unrest dude. Um, 
but I think I'm just going to pay for whatever I got in here. Missionary strength? Let's do it. How's my colony looking? We're at 257. Ooh. What is this? This is one of my cannon stacks. That's going to be gone. So let's play this safe. I see you can stay there. Let's move you down here. Move you over there. Move you over here. Actually, let's do it like this. Just move all the surrounding provinces away so whenever he takes that and moves elsewhere. Um. All right, so it's like Brandenburg and Bohemia eating up a little bit. Moldavia's released. Bremen is now elector. That's lame. Uh, let's build a cannon, because we lost a cannon. Uh, Long-term investment, please. That should give me enough to start hiring explorers. Very nice. So, with that being a thing... Am I still building mercs here? Let's go back and take Sweden. Actually, let's take the war goal and let's knock out these Danish, Danish rebels. Poland sent another insult. Let's get that core going. I wonder if he's going to split up again. Alright, so there's the war goal. I think from Sweden, I'm definitely going to take the claims. And then maximize the truce between me and him. Let me sit here for a tick so I can reinforce... There might be a good chance they might make me break my alliance with France. Gosh. Russia, Ottomans, Netherlands. Yeah, France, you just picked some bad friends there. That is one interesting thing, though. He is not allied to France anymore. I'm going to sit here for another tick. I could swing around and cause him to break his siege. I think he just teched up too. Yeah, he just teched up. The morale difference there. Where do you think you're going? You're not going to reinforce your army? That's fair. Alright, so let's get this one. Moves right there. Mitsuas cord. Yes, let's knock down the clergy. But we can also make them happy. And I could get one of these guys. 
half price. But, I mean, I already got this dude, so. Get some reinforcements going on there, and let's take that province. This dude can get a commandment. Command it, command it. Blah, blah, blah. I can't say it right. And I think I will give myself one more tick of reinforcements, and then I will go on in. Let's consolidate, and let's go beat him up. Unless he gets lucky and takes it back. Yeah, Sweden has to be hurting, so... Let's just let's just put the pain on him right now. France. Probably have a good fight, but you're not gonna win, buddy. Come on. How much war score is he? He's got sixty-three. He's probably trying to take as much of this as he can, which I don't blame him. The claw should be pretty much ready to annex and then with that I can just start going up in here and eating up all of this and I can start causing some troubles and start beating up the, the English and Spanish colonies there all right let's take this province just because we can I mean Sweden has to be hurting as far as um like manpower and economy. Sweden. He surprisingly has a lot of manpower still. Hmm. Nice. Let's just go, let's go for his capital. Hello. Alright, so we got a change of plans. Let's do some of this. Started this war with him almost five years ago. Hmm. Let me pull this back from Sweden. I'm gonna go fight his other army right there. What is he willing to give? Like I said, I should take these. 21 AE. I think of anything, I'm concerned about Poland. If Poland could start it, probably. <laughs> I could release Finland. It's always a good, fun country to do that with. I can make Sweden in his rivalry with me, which would be nice. Make him break his alliance with Livonia Order. Or I could keep that, like I was thinking about before, so that I can use that to get to him if I need to. Um... Too big to force religion on. 
I could take a lot of his money, make him give up his claims. As a final insult, I can make him release Scotland. This will just help me maximize the, um, the treaty there. Ooh, he's actually he's actually fighting back. Now, if I had imagined, he's bringing that army back to Barbados as sugar. Nice. That should be the mission. That was the mission, right? Population of 400. It has to be over 400. At least 400. And let's take out this real quick. There we go. Form alliance with Brandenburg. Yeah, that's okay. Knights in Austria. I mean, if Austria was hurting, and he's not, France is definitely hurting. I'm gonna wait. I'll wait for Lithuania. This is an opportunity that took me almost 150 years for it to happen. Alright, there's Stockholm. How's Sweden feeling now? Can't get Gotland unless I'm occupying it, basically. That's what the game is telling me. So let's say we don't release Gotland. I mean, he's totally in favor to give up. Can I just take Gotland? No, it's gonna probably be the same. I could take Kalmar. But I think this is already... Make a return to Finnmark? No. This is good. I'm good with this. back down here let's get these guys back in let's get this back in let's take care of that no CB is that the case how about I recreate that let's get some I don't have enough. I'm working with 21. April 22nd, I'm gonna get that spy network going again. So I can fabricate more claims. My military power is pretty high right now. I think for one tick of it, I'm gonna throw it into bringing up Republican tradition again. Nice. So France is coming over here to un-siege provinces in which I can then pick up. Come on. You know you want to take more. Spain is getting that Awesome events, make more money. Great Britain is becoming greater. It would be nice if we actually unseized the war goal. Alright, that was what I was waiting for right there. So 
So I am going to take an attrition tick, and I don't think I'm going to be able to siege everything this next month. Oh. Let's get trade pumping. Let's just pull as much as we can out of Novgorod. Keep you here. There we go. I guess I didn't really take that attrition that I was thinking was going to happen. Wait. So I was he able to go over there, but I can't. Price for defense guy. Doesn't this guy have price? Yeah, I still got that guy. So let's uh, let's get that. That's an amazing modifier to have on a province. Himself a 5 5 leader, impressive, but that's not going to save you. Hey, what? No, oh, Netherlands is a uh... all right. There goes his army. So we are at 1590. I do have Lithuania. I could release Livonia. I think Polosk would actually be a good person to take, because I believe he has a good amount of cores. Smolensk it could be a potential good vassal to release as well. The whole world would go to war with me if I did this. There was an easy way to view There's Livonia. Polosk and Smolensk. I think Smolensk is only four provinces. Polotsk has one, two, three, four, five, six. And Livonia does not have any cores on Russians. Novgorod would be a pretty good person to release as well. I mean, I could do that where I could just have a bunch of vassals.
I could release Kiev. Kiev has a good amount of cores. Hmm. So many choices. Take a second to think about this. I mean, I don't have the peace out now either. I think I still have another year before the call of peace would kick in. Because I started this at 1586. What's the devastation looking like? Pretty bad. <laughs> I can't get you back. Give me some access. Can you give me some access? You're actually not far. So, probably better chance with you. And... I could probably eventually turn the Russian and the Russian and Ottoman alliance against each other one day. I'll just bring all you guys home. Pull that trade from Novgorod. 62 ducats of trade. That has to be hurting him. I am stealing a good portion of it. Give me access. You want to give me access? Yeah, give me that beautiful access. Now the thing is, Ottomans and Netherlands. So I have to be really careful about how I go about confronting Russia, because I know the Ottomans are not going to feel like. Um, they should hate each other, honestly. Defend provinces, irritate over claims, enemy of enemy, improve relations. They just have a lot of um, pluses toward each other, which is kind of annoying. This is kind of like one of these rare circumstances where I don't have enough force limit. So I'm thinking one of my next idea groups is going to be taking quantity. I'm not usually a big fan of taking quantity, but because I mean, if one thing, I think quantity doesn't really help much with a I mean, I guess it will give me more mercs, bigger garrison sizes. Yeah, I got too many military points. So let's just pump up tradition. So that's the great thing about being Hamburg, you just generate so many monarch points. There's the call for peace. But honestly, I would want to do that before next year. Let me think about this. Poland would totally join. Lithuania wouldn't be able to. Sweden wouldn't be able to for quite a long time. Livonia order, I believe, is in the same case. Another seven years for them. But I would just have to keep my eye on Livonia Order and go at him when it's time. Norway might feel inclined because I don't have a. So Poland and Norway. Here we got Mainz, Saxony, Netherlands, Bremen, and Cologne. So let's work on improved relations with Norway. And possibly Russia. Let's just get this last claim down. Because 
Poland is never going to give in to that. Russia might, just because he's not my rival. And Poland is my rival. Ugh. Here comes these Dutch root. Uh, yep. 32. Here comes these nasty, uh... Dutch events that I've been dreading. And yeah, let's just get these guys. Let's see how it is. I know Poland's not going to give me access, so... Let's get that beautiful colonial range. Because that would actually be pretty nice right there. Because I can actually colonize a little bit further. I couldn't reach the North American provinces. But... What's going on here? Cree... Great Britain. It would be nice just to control the Chesapeake and the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Are my ships being dumb? Do I want to keep this guy around for another term? Answer is yes. Looks like France is regrouping. Luckily, we we're still allies. Newfoundland. Supporting Newfoundland's independence. That's interesting. Alright, so there's the Dutch. Once again, we're, um... Man. We're just a little far ahead in that tech. Let's catch up in Advin. And let's, um, round off some of these provinces to ten. So I can build more stuff. Let's get those going. Wasna Brook. Yeah. Who you allied with Sweden? Sweden, who you allied with the Lonely Order? I mean, I'm assuming Russia is going to do something about that sooner or later. Ooh, I did miss my chance to I mean I'll go another year I'll be alright to have Bavonia separatists Desmond and so that means that France is going to be fighting Great Britain Newfoundland and Bohemia it's going to be an interesting war. Let's get that in so we can just go full in on these Dutch. So I'm at 1592, rocking with 530 development. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. I really am. Let's get rid of this fort. I said let's get rid of it, my bad. Am I still rocking with full tradition? I'm a little below it. How do I fix that? Let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. And I should upgrade Bootrex Fort. Go on in. Infantry combat ability. That's amazing. Honestly, I'm going to keep these guys 
right here. Because knowing my luck, that Dutch event is going to come around again. But I do need to start thinking about what I'm going to do next as far as after Lithuania. Who am I going to fight next? Let's give this till after June. Let's pull this back. And I'm pretty sure Russia is not going to feel like joining the coalition. <laughs> so Norway is still feeling like it. Should work on relations with Bohemia, but we're rivals, so that's not going to happen. Mainz? How big is Mainz looking? Eh, he's not too much of a threat. Saxony? Eh, he's a little too. Other than that, that's, um,. Mainz and Saxony should be next to uh, try to work on their relations. More likely to get Saxony done quicker. And salt for Netherlands. I think after this, I just need to focus back on, um, go focus over here, conquer a lot of this. Then once A starts dying down, come back over here, start knocking down more of this, so. This global trade is about to come soon, which means the age of absolutism is about to come soon. But being a republic, I won't be able to benefit that from that completely. At most, I forget how much I would be able to get at most, but. Alright, we're in the uh, September time frame. My treaty with Brandenburg is over. I can't improve any more with Norway. But. I might be able to. This is looking like Saxony is no longer feeling like joining. Who is it? Mainz. I might be able to get a couple ticks in on him. I mean, I can speed for this until we get around Christmas time. All right, I'm pull back from Saxony. So if I have to imagine the scenario, there's a good chance that Mainz may not feel like joining it, but there might be a chance that Poland and Bohemia might start it, and then Livonian Porter would join next, and then Sweden would join next, and then Lithuania would join last, but that's if he ever recovers. This looks like a pretty good deal, honestly. I'm just going to hurt him as much as I can. And... Yeah, let's get around Christmas time. And... I'm happy with this. Alright, so now we're on January 1st. I could probably bump that down next month, in two months. But let's start with the little ones here first. Oh, wait. 
Let's release the following vassals. Polosk. He's going to be orthodox. That's okay. And let's release Smolent Smolensk. He'll be orthodox, but that's okay. Over relations. Then we can change that real quick by canceling that. And lastly, let's enforce the religions. This would be a hundred percent. I'm not even gonna worry about that because I'm about to annex him real soon. Should happen. Should happen quicker than that. But I guess all the penalties. That's cool. All right. So I mean, if anything, this looks pretty good now. I'm happy with this. Still got France as an ally, which I'm pretty happy about. I should probably start improving relations with him. I am improving relations with Mainz. Which, actually, at this point, it doesn't matter anymore because he's at negative 49, so he won't join the collision. The only people that I'm concerned about would be Norway and Poland. They will definitely start it. I would have to keep my eyes on Livonian Order. Because he would be the next person that would want to join that. So, if anything, I need to start fabricating a claim on him. And then Sweden would be next, and then Lithuania would be next. So let's set myself up here to start fabricating a claim on him. Oh yeah, since I released those guys, I can... Eh, I'll take that. It's only a 6% core creation cost plus to it. And yeah, that is definitely putting me in a lot better position than I anticipated. I'm at 580 development. And I think the last time I did a run like this, I got myself to 1600 and I talked about it before I believe in like my first two videos but I was at like 600 development so seven years earlier and 20 development away which is basically a province I'm doing a lot better this time than I was last time so what do y'all think uh, am I doing good are y'all liking this so far I'd like to hear y'all's feedback so comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.